Eratu Kulia is a Greek Cypriot. She was working in the fields when the Turkish military arrived in 1974. Her husband was detained and later had to report to the authorities every day. She was only allowed to visit her children once a month. They were at school in the Greek Cypriot part of the island. But now in her village, she says everyone gets along and it's time to move on. We've talked about the solution many times. We are optimistic and we are waiting. For 42 years we have been waiting. May God bless and help people. Right up to the present moment, we've been getting along fine. We know each other. It's been 42 years. We appreciate each other. They are our villagers. Iratu is now retired and spends much of her time with family and friends. And just a short distance away, a reminder of her past life, running a transport business with her husband. She lives in a village known to Greek Cypriots as Rizkapasso and Turkish Cypriots as Dipkarpas. Before 1974, it was a Greek Cypriot area, but when the Turkish military arrived, many villagers fled. Those who remained are now mainly elderly and Turks from the mainland have moved in. This village is in an unusual situation. Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots have been living here side by side for more than 40 years, and many of them want to put the events of 1974 behind them. And maybe there's something in that that the two negotiating sides can learn from. Ali Yesha arrived from Trabzon on the Black Sea coast in 1989 because he wanted to be near his brother. He has since gained citizenship and now runs a cafe. We are ordinary neighbours. There is no difference. We don't differentiate as to whether they're Greek or not. I've been here for 26 years and we live our everyday lives as ordinary neighbours. We don't have any problems. What he does hope for, though, is an economic revival for his home village. Dipkarpaz is right next to a national park and home to a couple of thousand wild donkeys. There are tourists, but with reunification, he believes, people will be able to fully capitalise on the area's natural beauty. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus.